Hi guys, I'm Roger Knowles and welcome to the Always Games TV's video unboxing of Star Wars Legion Imperial Death Troopers, the unit expansion. Now as you can see obviously in the shot I've got the Krennic expansion but that's because I just recently bought it on holiday and well, you know, with Star Wars Rogue One Death Troopers obviously appear with Krennic so I thought I'd put the, just the box in shot anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not going to be unboxing Krennic in this video, but we will be for a future video. So please subscribe and follow and do all that good stuff so you don't miss that unboxing video. So let's take him out of shot for the time being. But like I said, we're focusing on Star Wars Legion. This is the first unboxing video that I've done for Star Wars Legion. If you haven't seen before, we've done some X-Wing unboxing videos for the Lando's Millennium Falcon and Han Solo's Millennium Falcon. So please check those out on the channel. So without further ado, let's get this open. And I've just realized I don't know where my knife is. Bear with me two seconds. Okay, we've <laughs> got my knife. I'm good. I'm good. Right. Here we go. Like I said, I haven't opened this up yet. So first time we see what's inside. Let's get this open. Make sure I put my fingers. I've actually had this box now for a little while. I purchased it alongside the X-Wing miniatures that I got. Uh, right, okay, let's take a look at the, the actual box itself. Let's get it in sharp. There we go. So that's the front. And the other side. Let's get rid of the knife. We don't need that in shot. There we go. They do look really, really cool. I have to admit, when the Death Troopers appeared in Rogue One, I was really, really excited. Because I was a fan of the Legends obviously, which is no longer canon with the Death Troopers, but it was really nice. Uh, the film interpretations of the actual troopers themselves and that armor is really, really cool. So let's take a look inside. Let's take a look. Now, I'm fairly new to Star Wars Legion. Um, I actually haven't played any battles yet. I've actually been enjoying just painting the miniatures. Sorry about that, guys. I had to do a quick cut because uh, my close cam, uh, this one, uh, hadn't switched on, so... I wanted to make sure that was switched on so you could see some close detail. Uh, right, guys, so let's take a look inside the box. There you go. So, um, as with a lot of Fantasy Flight games, it, miniature boxes, how they pa package them up, there's always a lot of packaging in comparison to what's actually inside the box. But, hey, I don't mind. Let's get the actual miniatures out first, and then we'll do the cards last. Let's get them all out. Is that all of them? No, no, still another one in there. There we go. Is that all of them? Yeah, so they'll sort of separate up the cards and the uh, all the tokens are on one side and the miniatures are in the, that side there. So let's go through each one on the close cam. Okay, where are we? There we go. So each miniature has been bagged up separately, which is really, really useful. So you know what pieces go with what. Um, I recently bought... The Star Wars Legion core set, second hand off eBay, because it was really, really cheap. Plus, I didn't want to buy it outright straight away, mainly because I wasn't right sure if I'd actually enjoy the game. So I thought, you know what, I'll get the core set on the cheap first. And obviously, with it being second hand, all the actual miniatures were mixed up. So to actually match them up was a bit of a pain, <laughs> especially when painting them. Um, but these are all individually packaged up, which means I can do each one at a time, which I paint um, the miniatures uh, unassembled first. So I, I stick a couple of, I might stick the helmet on and things like that, but I might not stick the arms on. I'll prime them all separately, sort of blue tack them together just to do some of the detail painting and then finally glue once everything is finally painted. But that's much more useful having them all stuck together because I did get a little bit confused with the Stormtroopers um, in the core set that I bought them second hand. I am going to buy a um, brand new version of the core set, but like I said, I just wanted to see if I'd actually get into the game. I haven't actually played any of the battles yet. Um, all I've been really doing is enjoying, enjoying painting the actual miniatures, but I'm looking forward to doing my first battle very, very soon. Uh, so you get the bases, obviously. I've just got into doing some base painting recently with some terrain aspects glued on. Um, so I'm practicing with that at the moment, trying to get my uh, ter uh, base 
painting up to a good quality. I think I'm going to be doing uh, like a mud sort of style base paint with grass and stuff like that. A little bit similar to the Rogue One uh, planet where you first ever see the Death Troopers. I want to sort of match that sort of style. So very muddy and a little bit of grass. So yeah, those are there. What else have we got? We'll get to the cards and everything else first. Let's get the the slip that comes with them. So it obviously gives a, a detailed rundown of what... Can you see that on the camera? Of which pieces go on which miniature. There's quite a lot of loose pieces. Because, like, for example, his gun's separate to him here. So we'll have to stick that one on. And all the details for Fantasy Flight there as well. Is there any rule changes there? No, it just tells you all the components list and everything. That's cool. Put that there for time being. Uh, so let's have a look at what we get in here. Let's open it up and take a look. So... Give it open. There we go. There we go. So obviously you've got your tokens, which are all in the card that need to be popped out. Very, very nice and clean and tidy. It's very satisfying popping these. <laughs> I find it really strange. But I, just, I like. I used to. Uh, I play a lot of Star Wars Imperial Assault, and I love it when I get a new expansion and pop each one of them out. It's very, very satisfying. Anyway, it's a bit like um, you know, the popping bubble things. Uh, bubble wrap. I love it. Anyway, let's have a look at the card. Now, like I said, I'm fairly new to Imperial Assault. Let's see if that focuses on the card a little bit. There you go. Let's see the details of it. So, to be honest, a lot of the actual fine details of actually battling with them, I'm, I'm still fairly new. But let's have a little read what it says. So, Disciplined One, when you are issued an order, you may remove up to one suppression token. Um, precise Two, when you spend an aim token, re-roll up to two additional dice. Ready one. After you perform a standby action, you gain one aim token. Cool. I'm, I'm really looking forward to actually finally playing a battle with this. I'm going to convince one of my friends to play as the Rebels, and I'm going to be playing as the Imperials. Um, that's where I think the second core set's going to come in more, because then obviously he can balance it out a little bit more, because obviously I will be running Death Troopers. This just looks so freaking cool. Really, really cool. Ah, so there's a little bit of information on the back of the card as well. So let's read this out. I don't know if you can see this on the screen. I'll read it out to you. Uh, tactically advancing across the battlefield like inhuman revenants, Imperial Death Troopers are, ter are a terrifying sight. Adorned in jet black armour and carrying an arsenal of weapons and equipment, these troopers are the elite soldiers of Tarkin's initiative. Candidates are hand-selected from Stormtrooper Corps by Imperial Intelligence itself, trained to be efficient and merciless. They are also rumoured to undergo classified medical augmentation. Now, I do believe that these are going to appear on the big screen again, well, not the big screen, but on screen again very, very soon in the Star Wars Mandalorian TV series, which is coming to Disney+. Plus. Now, I'm sure I've spotted one of these, at least in one of the trailers for it, so I cannot wait to see more of them. Because I love the, uh, the... When they talk to each other in the film of Rogue One, they communicate, but it's all broken up because it's all sort of uh, encrypted. So when they, when they talk to each other, it's all like... But actually, they can understand each other. So it's really, really cool and a great addition to the Imperial Army uh, catalogue. I think it's really, really cool. So after that, let's look at the upgrade cards. So what have we got here? Let's take a little look. We've got the E11D Focused Fire Config. Uh, reconfigure when you recover, you may flip this card. Uh, suppression after you perform an attack, the defender gains one suppression token. What else have we got? We've got the DTF16, just make sure that's central on the screen for you. Uh, you gain Compel after another friendly unit at range 1 to 2 rallies. If it is suppressed but not panicked, it may gain one suppression token to perform a free move action. Leader, this mini is your unit leader. Now, what else have we got? We have got the DLT19D Trooper. Uh, add one DLT 19D Trooper Mini Impact 1 while attacking a unit that has armor change up to one damage result to a critical result. Okay, well, we've got Overwatch. You gain Sentinel, 
Your standby range is one to three. Duck and cover. While defending against a ranged attack during that reread that again. While defending against a ranged attack during the apply dodge and cover step, you may gain one suppression token. Comms relay. When you would be issued an order, you may choose a friendly unit at one to two, issue an order to the chosen unit instead. That's what we got. We've also got the fragmentation grenades. Uh, while this uh, weapon is in your attack pool, you gain... I'm not entirely sure what those symbols are. Like I said, I'm fairly new to Legion. I haven't done any battles yet. I've mainly just been painting. Anyway, there we go. And the environment gear, environmental gear, should I say. Uh, you gain unhindered. You ignore the effects of difficult terrain. The one thing I will do before we go anywhere, I'm going to just open up one of these and see it slightly put together so you get a bit of an idea of how it looks. I'm trying to choose one that doesn't look too bad to put together on this on this video. So, um, may have to be that one. Because some of these pieces are actually quite small. So let's get this bad boy opened and hopefully I don't drop all the pieces. Right, let's get on the close camera so you can see nice and clearly what they look like. Right, here we go. Hopefully that focuses in all right. Put his head on. Uh, which way around does it go? Which way is he looking? Are you looking that way? <laughs> I don't know, right? <laughs> now, you see, this is the problem when you're trying to do a video at the same time, trying to put the miniatures together. It doesn't look... Might need to be sanded down a little bit actually and sort of filed down just to make sure it fits on properly. Okay, I think he's on he's on there. There we go. Looking down slightly. Okay, and then let's have a look what we also got here. So we've got his one arm. Yeah, as we see, there's the hole. Fits that in there. Now that one's much better snug. Nice snug fit in there. And then his hand on the gun, which will pop into there, and then the rest of his arm goes into there. There we go. Ooh, look at that. There we go. So, he's properly aiming down the gun. He's really, uh, like, hunched into the aim there. He's got his shoulders rolled ever so slightly forward, really leaning into the gun, which is a very, very cool posture. He really honestly looks like he's, he's actually in mid-firing shot. Which is really, really cool. I cannot wait to paint these. It'll be so cool. Like, there's no real excess plastic either. There is a little bit on this helmet. You can't quite see in the shot. But that might have to be filed down a smidge. But nothing too bad. Like I said, I, before I've, I've painted a lot of the Imperial Salt miniatures. So, and those had quite a bit of excess little lines here and there. But it only seems to be on the top of his helmet. So that's good. So not much tweaking before I finally prime him. That's pretty cool. So there we go. That is all that's in the... There's nothing else? No, that is all that's in the box of the Star Wars Legion. Let's, let's just focus that camera up. Oh, there we go. In the Star Wars Legion box. I can't... Like, obviously, with painting these, it's going to be quite straightforward because mainly they are black. But sometimes... I don't want to leave them just plain black. I want them to have a little bit of definition. Now, I have in, I have painted the Death Troopers from Imperial Assault. And they've gone okay. I've used a... Obviously, painted them black with, like, a blue wash over the top just to give them an ever so slight subtle definition to their armor. Um, I'm actually going to go back to those and practice on those before I start painting these, um, mainly because... I just want to make sure I, I nail it just right. And I want, what I might do is apply like a, a dry brush of grey over the armour. Like really, like next to nothing on the actual brush and just quickly run it over the top. Just to try and catch some of the edges of the armour to help make them pop 
ever so slightly and then if you can't quite see on the screen but actually on their lenses they're slightly green now i noticed a lot of people online paint these quite an obvious green i won't be doing that i'll be mainly painting them a very very dark green with a little bit of light edging on them as well so um, i'm looking forward to painting them I'm, I, I really like the trooper i think it's really really cool i love the design of them in the film and i can't wait to get them painted and finally do a star wars legion battle with one of my friends and try these bad boys out i really really can't wait like i said i have also got the director krennic expansion as well uh, the Commander expansion. I got this while I was on holiday, um, and I will be doing another unboxing for him as well. So I can't wait. I can't wait to paint him as well because these next to the him next to the Death Troopers is going to just look an amazing setup, and I can't can't wait. And hopefully, I'm going to be starting painting, doing some miniatures on a live stream as well. Um, hopefully, we'll be getting that sorted out very very soon. So don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, where you can keep up to date of when we're going to be doing those live streams. Hopefully, it's going to be sooner rather than later. If you've got any ideas for me helping me do better unboxing videos or any other games that you would like me to do unboxing for, please let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.